Hello guys, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, this is not one of my regular contents. I am doing this content due to the number of people who have reached out to me, telling me that um, they have been asked to leave Canada and other countries because they failed their asylum claim. So that is the reason why I am doing this content, mm, just to enlighten and educate those of you who are planning to travel abroad to go and seek asylum because like you all know i am not a travel agent i do not do visas i do not give people jobs abroad um even until recent i realized that a lot of you out of ignorance are the ones spoiling things for other people yes now imagine in 2024 you have a visa already your plan is to go abroad and seek for asylum but you did not even know what asylum was all about you know sometimes I don't know what to say. I don't know how to really express myself. Sometimes I, it, it seems I want to feel angry for these people because now they are making life difficult for other people who have genuine reasons to travel abroad and seek asylum. Now, so far this month, a huge chunk of people, large number of people have been asked to leave Canada and go back home. To their various countries because the canadian government went as far as verifying some of these claims and realized that their claims were too bogus and eventually they were lying you know right here i have to call it spade a spade now you are applying for a visa just like what happened here in the U.S. as well. A lot of people have also been asked to leave the U.S. after they filled their asylum claim. You know, sometimes when I come here to tell you guys these things, you guys just think maybe I'm coming here to play. No! I am not coming here to play. I am coming here. I come here regularly to tell you the way things are. Me, I don't enjoy whenever people reach out to me and tell me, no, sir, comedy. I have been asked to leave Canada. No sa comedy. I have just been deported. No sa comedy. Canada, uh, uh, US, UK deported me three days ago. People are telling me these things. I don't like it. Because I feel like many of you have put in a lot of money to apply for visas. And eventually, what you are going to do with that visa abroad you couldn't even take the time and energy with effort to know what that thing is all about. Trust me, it's, it's, I don't know what to say with me. I don't know what to say. Like, I feel sorry for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, I feel like I don't even need to feel sorry for them. Because how, 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 how would you say you spent millions of naira, millions of francs, thousands of dollars to acquire a visa to Canada, to US, at the end of the day, because you, were traveling there for, because you were traveling there for asylum, you couldn't even do your research to know what asylum was all about. So, please, preparation for asylum starts from your home country. You can't just, okay, imagine, like here in the US, if you are coming to the U.S. to seek for asylum, you have within one year of entry into the U.S. to apply for asylum. If it goes beyond one year, there, is, there will be a problem with your case. You have one year. If you are entering America September 1st, before September 1st next year, you have to apply for the asylum. And what is making it difficult for a lot of people is that 
Many of you, you are coming here with the mindset of how things are done back home in Africa. No, it is different. Why am I saying so? For instance, this country, they keep records, they keep data. There are cases where people came to the US, went to Canada for asylum. And while they are processing your asylum case, in many cases, these countries are doing verifications behind you. You won't even know. Now, they are verifying when you came here. And eventually, if they find out that when you newly came here, you were looking for jobs, that's another problem. In, in the immigration people's mind, they will be like, oh, this guy came to this country and was searching for jobs. Okay, maybe it is because he was unable to find jobs. That was why he, now, he or she now resorted to seeking asylum. That will work against you. Because you did not just come to the country to seek asylum straight. And many of you, you travel abroad for asylum with frivolous claims. Imagine somebody traveled abroad and said uh, uh, he had a problem with his neighbor. Since that time, they just they, they threatened to kill her. They were not asking, what kind of problem? How did they threaten you? Where is this person? Did you report this case to the police? The person said no. So you don't have a police report for a threat you went through in your country. So after much, should I call it interrogation or interview of this person, they realized that they just felt like this person is lying. And automatically this person was asked to leave Canada. They went for appeal. They lost, they lost the appeal. You know, normally this thing I'm telling you, well, because many of you think, you, because many of you will travel to a country to go and work with your visas. It is after you now get there, you are unable to find jobs, you will not be ready to say, okay, let me go for asylum. That will work against you. Because to these immigration officers or personnel, if you were really being threatened in your country, you ought to have sought asylum immediately as you came if your life was really in danger you understand but many of you know and many of you don't even have a legit case to seek asylum because sometimes people will call me they'll be asking me oh no sacramenti uh please can you give me a story i'm like are you okay me I should give you a story. So, so I should give you. A, I should. I should. Tell, I should help you to lie. <laughs> I have never ever done it. You that is traveling abroad for asylum purpose. Okay, you don't know your story. You don't know what is pursuing you from your country. So, I should not be the one to tell you. <laughs> many of you are not fit to travel. Trust me, many of you are not fit yet. You know, in Africa, many of you are used to. When somebody come to you, they'll be patting you behind your back. They, oh, well done, you are trying. Even if you're not trying, no, I don't do that here. A lot of people are not fit to travel abroad. If you can have the guts, the minds, the financial minds to pay a travel agent and process visa and buy a flight tickets, I see no reason why you cannot do your research to know what asylum is all about. To know if you have all it takes to successfully get it. Yes. You know, we have to call it speed is speed. Because right here, I like to say things the way they are. And many of you, that is something you don't like. So when somebody is trying to tell you the right thing, you'll be like, oh, eh, but, but. No, there is no but. It is either you are prepared for that asylum team or you are not preparation starts from your country when it comes to seeking asylum overseas people are losing their asylum cases on a regular basis which is not really fair i feel sorry for these people
sometimes when people say there are cases in Canada, the, the Canadian government is like, are you serious? Is this the reason why you left your country to Canada for asylum? So for me, that is why I usually come here to educate you people. Because I realize that many of you don't even have travel education. And many of you are not even willing, ready to have it. Why will you say you want to go abroad and seek asylum? You don't know what asylum is all about. You don't have a legit story. You are looking for somebody to give you a story. Now, what if they now decide to come to your country to verify those stories? Because there's something I think many of you don't know. Many of these countries, they have representatives in your countries. They have embassies. They have, consul they have consulates. They can send people to go and verify your claim in your streets, in your village, in your, in your, in your city. Now you have cooked a story. Somebody cooked a story for you to use for Aduro. After telling Canada or US, this is what, this is the reason why I'm coming here for asylum. They say, okay, fine. It, now, have you asked yourself, what happens if this country now decides to verify your claim? Hmm. Are there people in your country? Are there people in your village? Are there people in your state who will vouch that that claim is true? No, let's call it a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. oh. The reason why I feel like many of you are not taking this thing so seriously, eh? maybe you have not been able to talk to people who failed the asylum claim and were deported back to their countries. So, I believe if you have the opportunity to talk to these people, talk with them, you will really know that this thing is no joke. This thing is not play. You don't know what asylum means. You want to go and seek asylum. They are asking you what brings you to Canada. Say asylum. Okay. So uh, do you have, is somebody threatening your life? Is your life in danger? You say yes. Who? You start fidgeting. You start stammering. Which means you don't even have what it takes to get that thing you have gone to that country to, to seek for. So it is very, very important. Put your best to it. Put your efforts. Stop traveling abroad for asylum when you have not when, when you have not been prepared for it. So if you don't have what it takes to even do it, there is no need for you to even do that in the first place. You understand? So that's just basically what this content is all about. So put your best into it. Know what this thing means. Know if you have what it takes to successfully sort it, to successfully seek it. You understand so? So that is what this content is all about. So let me know in the, con in the comment section what you want me to make a content on next and I will surely deliver. Have a good one, guys.